Okay, one of our favorite guests from back in 1040 was Barkley Pernetta. Bark. Bark. Vancouver Giants GM. He calls himself Barks, which means we get to introduce him maybe each and every time. Great guy. With this 90s piece of TV gold. What do you mean Barks has fight? Johnny? What do you mean Barks has fight? Johnny? What do you mean Barks has fight? Oh, hey, man. What do you mean Barks has fight? Here, try some of this. Ouch. I haven't seen him that excited since he got a deal. Ouch. You tell him, Johnny. You tell the world. Oh, oh. so good. Barks did other commercials as well, but none, yeah. as, none as good as uh, that one. As we bring in uh, Vancouver Giants GM Barkley Parnett. Let me uh, set you up here, uh, Barkley. Giants in, in the Kelowna Kamloops COVID bubble. They're 4-1 and one on a four-game win streak. Trent Miner with three straight shutouts in his last three starts. Giants play Victoria tonight in Kelowna. Have I got all that right, Barkley? How are you, sir? Uh, uh, first of all, great to hear you guys. I'm so happy uh, back on there. This is awesome. I, I, I'm just uh, ecstatic, and I'm pumped to be here. So, But, no, it's been uh, no minor accomplishment by Trent to uh, do what he's done. I mean, he came straight in from the AHL. Mm. He had to do uh, – he had to – coming back from Colorado, he actually had to go back home to Brandon to quarantine for 14 days, so he wasn't on the ice for 14 straight days and then he joined us in we're not calling it a bubble we're calling it a cohort okay and uh and you know we kind of let him ease back into it and when he told us he was ready it was pretty exciting and man he's he he looks like a pro goalie playing junior right now and there's no word of a lie he's been incredible yeah so many people at uh, barkley in vancouver talk about bo and byram being a uh, former giant uh being a property of the uh, av so is trent minor he got some Pro experience with the Colorado Eagles of the AHL. I'm I'm guessing Barkley that that has helped him a whole lot uh, immensely. And you know the really interesting interesting thing about Trent is like so in sort of the uh, the COVID sort of shutdown. You know he he didn't just sit around. He was able to get his pilot's license. Like he was flying planes and got his pilot's license, which is just says something about him as a person and sort of how mature he is. But down with the Eagles, I mean he kind of got forced into a spot, you know, initially when he went there, he was actually the only goalie in practice and he was getting peppered. But then he got into games. He had a shutout in the AHL. And I think he made the three stars twice down there. Like he was their starting goalie and playing awesome. Um, okay. Uh, focusing on, well, we'll get to the team as a whole in a second, how well you're playing. Uh, but as we, well, they're all young players, let's say focusing on another young player, but 15 year old Mazden, uh, Leslie, a defenseman from Lloyd Minster, uh, Barkley two goals in his first game as a 15 year old. He's going to turn 16 later this month. But what can you tell us uh, about him? Well, just the the enthusiasm and passion that he brings to the rink is incredible. I mean, this guy, he watches. I mean, one of the players that he really sort of follows in the NHL is Heiskanen, and and he's out there 20 minutes before practice. Uh, he's the first guy nice every day, literally, still. And and it's not just for show. He's out there working on things. He's he's just a I don't want a hockey rat. He loves the game. He's he's a, a student, and and he again he's fearless. Like he's out there playing. You know, if you were to say that, point out that kid, say he's 15. There's no way people believe you. He's just got a really good air and confidence about him, and he and he truly plays hard and loves the game, and it really comes through. Hey, Bark uh, Tristan Nielsen, what a start for him. Uh, got some national recognition in. Uh, Elliot Friedman's uh, 31 Thoughts. Uh, talk a little bit about uh, this important player for your hockey club. Look, look, Neeler stepped into this on a mission. He's here, and his goal is to try to open the eyes and get a contract, uh, uh, you know, National Hockey League. And for me, I see no reason why he shouldn't. He's been a consistent point getter for us, and now his game has evolved. That You know, he's playing right in all three zones. He's understanding that the little details really make the difference to become a pro. We really... You know, coming into this, we actually had some talks, uh, Zoom calls. We had a 20-year-old Zoom call. We had Craig Cunningham come on and then talk about his year going in as an uh, unsigned player and what he sort of tried to do. And, and then we also had uh, uh, some hockey people with a lot of experience to make decisions in the NHL come on the Zoom and talk about, you know, what they'll be looking for in a, in a shortened season like this. So Tristan has just taken everything in, and he's on a mission. He's been... Uh, a very outstanding player in every game that you watch. I mean, again, another player that you just can't help but notice if you walked in or watched online. 
Hey, Bark, I, you know, I talked to a lot of junior co- uh, coaches, a uh, lot of concern in the past year about mental health, especially 19, 20-year-olds. These kids are so important, and they're all striving. they got goals. they got dreams. They want to still get somewhere in hockey. Um, how has the organization, and I know Ron Toigo does a, a wonderful job, and I know you guys do too, uh, how important to keep these kids focused and, and on the goal and positive? And, because it's been a tough time for junior kids all across the country. It has, you know, Dolly, like we had, I mean, through the course of the sort of uh, uncertainty of when we're going to start, we we were in contact constantly. We stayed uh, in touch with our players. We made sure that they didn't hear things from rumors that as soon as we found something out, we had scheduled a Zoom call and and we'd tell the boys what what the league had said and where we're at. And I think that was an important part. Uh, and the other, I mean, we had a, we scheduled a clinical counselor to come on and talk to our group, including our staff. And, and that was a really, uh, beneficial meeting at the time because it was kind of a little bit earlier in the sense that, you know, we actually really thought we we're going to start sooner than we did. And, and we kind of hit that wall and, and for him to come on and talk to the boys, not necessarily about what their dreams were, but just the circumstances and how to control it. There's nothing you can do. And you just have to focus on the good things that you can control. And, and I mean, it helped me because it's difficult for me too, but I think that was a key part. And then just making sure, like I said, the biggest thing communication with these kids. And we literally like, you know what, 10 years ago, I never asked how anybody's mental health was. Mm -hmm. I never, that wasn't a question. I literally like, I don't just ask kids how they're doing. I said, how are you doing mentally? Like, are you good? Are you in a good place? And even here, you know, we're in the hotel rooms and, 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 I don't want to say we're isolated because we're able to be together, which is huge. And, uh, you know, but it is something you need, need to be mindful of. And, and it is something that's become more and more like, I'll, I won't be surprised if NHL teams don't have mental health coaches, all of them full time mm-hmm. in the next 10 years. Um, Barkley, you just mentioned your living uh, situation uh, right now. What can you tell us about it? You're, you're in Kamloops tonight. You traveled uh, to Kelowna and then, and, and then back again, but just you could expand on your living situation there in the, in the COVID times in the Western Hockey League? Well, I, I got to be honest. I'd like to say or say how tough it is, but we're at the Sandman Signature. We've got a beautiful view of the river. The The accommodations are fantastic. We've got kitchenettes in our room with, uh, with stoves and, and full fridges. We have separated bedrooms. Like the hotel has treated us extremely well here. And, and, and Tom Gillardi really made this work by uh, sort of making it as affordable as he could for us to be here. We're getting great meals between moxies and the white spot and cantaloupes like we're eating like kings here it's been fantastic so uh the people you know the kimberly down in the food and beverage here has been great and dan from the white spot i mean uh, we really don't have anything to complain about and and so we're sort of our places we're allowed to go are the hotel and the rink is about 200 yards across the street so we'll walk to the rink but we're not allowed to go outside of that area and even when we travel we go to Kamloops, load the bus. We got to go straight to the rink in Kelowna, get in and get out. We can't stop. We can't go walk anywhere. But uh, you know, it's 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 it sounds a little limiting, but it's actually been kind of fun to this point, to be honest. It's pretty neat, and having everybody in the hotel like this allows us to, you know, allows our coaches to really sit down with the kids, mm-hmm. maybe more readily than they would uh, in a normal season. Because you know what, they can go watch video with five or six different kids and it's not like you're taking 14 hours and kids are coming back and forth from their billet houses so it's actually been a really good setup it's been awesome actually uh very quickly maybe one or two were to answer this is from andy in surrey one of our great uh, listeners viewers customers uh is there going to be a memorial cup bubble you know barkley uh i don't know i mean i'm focused on what we're doing here and i can't i don't have that okay Okay, also, I want to ask you this um, as we've got to wrap up here, Barkley, but Green Shirt Day today in honor yeah. of uh, the Humboldt uh, Broncos. Uh, what goes through your mind? Well, I mean, again, the mental health, uh, that's where I go to. I think we do have players still on our team that have ties to, to people that yep. lost their lives in that. So we've got to be aware, and, and I even talked to Michael Dick about it this morning, just that we're going to talk about it and, and make sure that those guys aren't forgotten. And, and they're all doing what we do and, and what we love, and and I think it's important that we recognize that. So, uh, you know, we'll make sure that the boys inside the room are talking about it for sure. And I'm sure they're going to dedicate the game tonight to a lot of these guys. And, you know, it's awesome. Hey, yeah, I, this is quick. What's going on? I'm off. You, I got the cane already. What's going on? I don't. Well, I, I got some suggestions no, here no, for you. No, no, this. So you've you've been on for a. a yeah, it's been a long time, of Bart. Time. This has been good. Well, you know, what do you mean? I got a whole hey, little. Hey, listen, uh, Barkley. There's a an old. Skit for you with the, 
D and D Sports Factory, and then you can have things that make you go. <laughs> hey, hey, Brooklyn, there's an old expression in show business: less is more. You've okay. given, a, given us that. enough. You've hit your peak, and hey, Bart, now you got to go. You're the GM That's of right. a West. You're the GM of a Western Hockey League team. Get to work. Come on. <laughs> I'm, hey, I'm GMing a lot here. I'm doing a lot of GMing. That's what I tell everybody. I'm GMing the out of it. Yeah. All you, right. You you just did a good job of extending your time. <laughs> well, well, that's great. You guys, seriously, I'm so happy to be on. And anytime, I, I love spending time with you guys. It's awesome. Always uh, good. Fun, Bark. Thanks, Barkley. Appreciate it. All right, boys. Take care. Uh, Vancouver Giants GM, uh, Barkley Parnetta. Uh, Trent Miner, you, 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 run, you, you come across. I know we've we got to go. Yep. But here's a kid who's an NHL draft pick. He's 20 years old. And did I hear that right? He's an NHL draft pick, and he's got his pilot license. Pilot, yeah. And here we are. He, remember that heli jet we took? I think he was studio. driving it. Remember that heli jet? Yeah. I think he was driving it. It was a whole lot of fun. I don't think it was Trent, but I'm sure in a few years he'll be capable of doing that. All right, let's take a break. Donnie and Dolly, the team on check.